With their highly anticipated showdown on the horizon, Gervonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson had a dramatic encounter at the airport that no one saw coming. What was supposed to be a tense but civil moment before their upcoming fight quickly escalated into a chaotic confrontation. As if already in the ring, the two fighters clashed fiercely, neither willing to back down. In the midst of the altercation, Stevenson suffered a serious head injury, while Davis walked away with just a minor bruise on his left cheek. Tank Davis, the current WBA world title holder, has established himself as one of boxing's most electrifying and dominant figures, boasting an incredible track record of knocking out all but two of his 20 opponents. His power, speed, and relentless aggression make him a fan favorite and a formidable challenge for anyone who steps into the ring with him. Given his reputation, it was no surprise to many when Davis emerged on top after his brief exchange with Stevenson at the airport. While Davis's injuries were minimal, the situation was far more serious for Stevenson, who sustained a head injury that could have significant consequences. Not only does this injury put their potential fight in doubt, but it also raises concerns about Stevenson's future in the sport. Head injuries in boxing are always a serious concern. What may start as a temporary setback can quickly escalate into something far more severe, potentially ending a fighter's career. For Shakur Stevenson, this injury could have meant the end of his chances to ever step into the ring again. However, his team received reassuring news from the doctors. Despite the initial fears, the head injury is not as serious as it first seemed. As long as Stevenson takes the necessary rest for a few weeks, there should be no lasting effects that could jeopardize his upcoming fight. While any head injury is alarming, this one appears to be more manageable than originally feared. The doctors have assured Stevenson's camp that with proper recovery time, he will return to full health, both physically and mentally. This means that if the highly anticipated fight with Gervonta Davis moves forward, Stevenson will be able to face his opponent in top condition. On Davis's side, he's more than ready to take on Stevenson if the fight gets the green light. In fact, this is the matchup he's been eyeing for quite some time. Both fighters come into this with undefeated records, but for Davis, it's just another challenge to conquer. He has a proven track record of dismantling those who dare to share his unbeaten status, refusing to be seen as just another contender. The intensity surrounding this potential fight is ramping up, especially after Davis's assistant coach, Kenny Ellis, recently took to Instagram to taunt Shakur Stevenson. Ellis specifically called out Stevenson for defending his WBC lightweight title against Joe Cordina on October 12th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The timing of this taunt seems deliberate, as Ellis wants to send a clear message to both promoters and fans. They're ready for the real fight to begin. Kenny Ellis couldn't resist mocking the upcoming Stevenson vs. Cordina bout, sarcastically labeling it as a huge event and urging fans to grab their tickets quickly. His remarks were dripping with irony, clearly meant to downplay the significance of the fight. Stevenson has already faced criticism from boxing fans for choosing Cordina as his next opponent, and Ellis's taunts only add fuel to the fire. Only adding fuel to the fire, many fans believe that Stevenson should have aimed higher, questioning whether Cordina is truly worthy of challenging the WBC lightweight champion. But why is Kenny Ellis mocking this matchup? What does it mean for Shakur Stevenson? Ellis's sarcasm hints at deeper concerns suggesting that Stevenson's choice of opponent might not be the best move for his career. Firstly, Cordina is coming off a knockout loss, which raises doubts about his readiness to face someone of Stevenson's caliber. Not only has Cordina never fought at 135 bulbs, but he is also considered a domestic-level fighter, further questioning the competitiveness of this matchup. What's even more concerning is the lack of interest surrounding Cordina. When his fights are rumored, there's virtually no demand, and the public shows little enthusiasm. This lack of buzz is particularly telling in the US, where even hardcore boxing fans are largely unfamiliar with Cordina. His low profile among American fans makes this fight feel less significant, undermining the excitement that typically surrounds a top-tier boxer like Stevenson. Additionally, placing the Shakur Stevenson vs. Joe Cordina fight as the co-feature on the highly anticipated Arthur Baturbiv vs. Dmitry Bivol event at the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh seems like an odd choice. The excitement surrounding the Baturbiv Bivol showdown, a clash of titans, is undeniable. But when you add Stevenson Cordina to the mix, it feels out of place. In short, it just doesn't fit. So, 
What does this mean for Chaco or Stevenson? It could have several implications, but many experts agree on one key point. Beating Joe Cordina, who is now 32 years old and recently suffered an eighth-round knockout loss to Anthony Cacase on May 18th, may not significantly advance Stevenson's career. Cordina's recent defeat has diminished his standing in the boxing world, making him less of a formidable opponent than he once was. A victory over Joe Cordina could render Stevenson's win less impactful. If Stevenson defeats Cordina, it might not provide the validation or career boost he needs, especially given Cordina's recent struggles. Many view this matchup as simply an opportunity for Stevenson to stay active and defend his WBC lightweight title, but it may not offer the prestige or challenge of other potential opponents. The outcome of this fight might not generate the same level of excitement or interest from fans and critics, which could affect Stevenson's reputation and future opportunities in the sport. No matter how dominant Stevenson is over Joe Cordina, it won't compare to the aggression and tenacity that Anthony Cacase displayed in their fight. Cacase was relentless, throwing non-stop punches and practically beating Cordina into submission. Stevenson, on the other hand, has a different style, more likely to box his way to a 12-round decision rather than engaging in an all-out brawl. Boxing professionals are weighing in on the situation. Ryan Garcia, who has faced Cervanta Davis in the past, expressed disappointment in Stevenson's choice of opponent. Garcia believes that if Stevenson had faced Davis instead, it would have significantly elevated Davis's status as an undefeated fighter and left fans in awe. I'm disappointed in Stevenson's poor choice of opponent, Garcia stated. He should have made a deal with Tank Davis instead. If he had taken that fight, his status in boxing would be absolutely astounding. Right now, a fight with Tank would have solidified his place at the top. But instead, he's missed a huge opportunity to prove himself. Even Artem Haruchunian, who recently fought and lost to Stevenson, voiced his disappointment, criticizing the choice of opponent. Haruchunian argued that Cordina is not worthy of the matchup, and given Cordina's lack of appeal, the fight is unlikely to deliver an exciting spectacle, regardless of how much it is defended. Haruchunian believes that a fight with someone like Gervonta Tank Davis would have been a real statement, a chance for Stevenson to elevate his career to the next level. Missing out on that matchup feels like a lost opportunity for Stevenson to make a significant impact in boxing. Now, considering these opinions, what do you think? Should Stevenson have taken on Cordina, or would pursuing a fight with Davis have been a smarter move? Share your thoughts in the comments below.